Today I'm going to be measuring up this cyclone for the 3D shipping container wood shop. I need to get this modeled in 3D. This is really important so that I can attach this to the model and figure out where the ductwork goes. I want to put this outside of the container and run the intake port right through the top and run it right along the, the top of the inside of the container then the dust outlet port needs to curve and come down and come back into the container because you're sucking air out of the container you need to put it back or you need to draw it from the outside uh, you need to draw makeup air from the outside and either summer or winter that would uh, really add to the heating or cooling of it so I really don't want to do it you want to keep using the same air and filter it out so I'm gonna get this measured up and pop it in the model stuff out here. Now I need to go measure the cone and the filter and that'll do it. And there you have it, one dust collector. Hollow on the inside, got a motor on it, all that stuff. And then here it is inside of the shipping container model. And I also have a representation of the jointer here. So, my thinking on this, I played around with this, and this right here would be the path of the the main duct, uh, which would bring it down as low or as high as it can be, 
if I have an insulated ceiling in here. Let me open this up once. Uh, we'll go from the right. Okay. So this exhaust port is as high as it can be. There'll be like two inches of insulation up in the top. So my inlet needs to come down. This will be a seven inch pipe. So it's as high as it can be. Let me change this. I'll do the top and the right. Yeah, we'll just need the top. So I put the door here so that I can um, I can roll this down this way and open the door if I want to do some long stuff, or I can open this door. Uh, same thing with the planer. With the planer, I would have to roll it up this way and open this door if I have some really long stuff. The majority of things I could probably do with the container completely closed. This would be the table saw here. The table saw is the biggest problem, but I've always had problems with the table saw in a small shop. I can roll this planer back into here and then move this right into the middle and this dust um, line right here would service anything that's on this side but I can move this table saw right into the middle if I have 8 inch or 8 inch 8 foot stuff that I was uh, cutting but a lot of stuff uh, doesn't even come off the back. If I'm cutting tenons or something like that, I could be cutting mortise and tenons and stuff like that. And it, I could be doing that most of the day and I don't need much room for that. I could just roll it right here and uh, catch it with this dust line right here. So that's what I have so far. The, the collector itself needs a good paint job it's getting kind of rusty and I don't know if I need to replace the motor or not with something that's gonna work outdoors I know I can't have water going on it so at, at a bare minimum I'll have to cover this area or possibly replace the motor with an outdoor an outdoor motor so I need to figure out how the electrical is gonna work with this you know, I don't really want to build any kind of structure out here. I want this to remain a container that can be reused for something else. But we'll see. Uh, at, at a bare minimum, I have to weld on some brackets for this. But that can always be cut off later. So that's where it's at right now. I need to model the planer still. Uh, this is a drill press. I'm hoping that the drill press, the, well, I don't know what you would even call that, the, the pipe or the metal uh, stand that it, uh, that the head sits on or is attached to and is, is attached to the base. I'm hoping that will run behind the jointer. I can roll the jointer out a little bit. If not, I, I like a lot of room on either side of the drill press because I'm always drilling into long boards and stuff. So, But everything in here is going to be put on wheels, so I can move it out of the way if I need to. Uh, what else is going to go in here? Oh, a chop saw. And I'll have shelves running pretty much the entire length of the container on both sides just above the height of this jointer right here uh, the fence on the jointer so when the wood comes out of the jointer it's just put on the shelf and then when you got the whole stack of it there you slide it down to the other side I did that with my last two shops and it works great so it'll be on both sides 
and that can be used with the drill press as well. Uh, stuff that needs to be drilled on one side, drill it, put it on the other side, and then slide it back over if there's a different hole that needs to be drilled. So that's about it. Um, I'll post another video when I have the planer modeled and I'll model up all these pipes and stuff and keep working on it all winter and start building in the spring. If you like the video, please subscribe and make sure you click on the update icon so you'll be notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day.